my honey. Congratulations on the upcoming wedding. Thank you, Mom. We are really excited now that it's only a couple of weeks away. It is coming up quickly, huh? It feels like it took forever to get here. We've been planning for nearly a year and a half. That is a long time. I don't know why you put it off for so long. We wanted to be established. When Jay proposed, we had just graduated college. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. You were so mean. Mom, you got so drunk that you started stripping in the middle of the ceremony. They had to escort you out before I walked across the stage. <laughs> it was college. Stringing is a part of the experience. It's not acceptable to do that in the middle of your daughter and future son-in-law ceremony. Why do you keep bringing that up? Because you never apologized. I'm sorry, okay? Not really. That did not sound sincere at all. My children are so cruel to me. What did I do wrong? Why do all of you hate me so much? Did you call to try to guilt trip me? How can you say that about your own mother? Is that how you show respect? M Mom, I know you didn't call to congratulate me about my marriage. Well, I definitely didn't call to get shamed by my daughter. I I'm sorry, what do you need? I want to bring my boyfriend to the wedding. No. You will have three of my exes at your wedding, and I'll bet they're all bringing a plus one. Dad and Thomas are bringing their wives, but I don't think that Dean plans to bring anyone else. He didn't add a plus one. Why do they all get the choice to and I don't? Because I don't know your current boyfriend. I tried to introduce you to him three months ago. It's not my fault you refused to meet him. Mom, there is no guarantee that you'll still be with him by the time the wedding happens. How can you be so cruel to your own mother? The answer is no. You can't bring anyone with you. I need someone there to support me. All four of your children will be there. You know Jessica always takes care of you. But it's not fair that I'm being told I can't bring someone else. My boyfriend helps me feel more comfortable. I'll think about it. For now, I need to get going. There's a lot to do and not much time. Okay, honey. And please let me know soon so he has enough time to plan. I'll try, but if I rush my decision, you may not like my answer. That's not fair. I'll let you know as soon as I can, okay? Have a good day, Mom. You too. Hey, Aiden. Did you hear back about the cake? I did. And no, it's still a surprise for you. Rats, you got me. I meant to message you earlier. Your mother texted me. Please tell me you're kidding. Sorry, but no. She wanted to know if she could bring a plus one. I told her that I would think about it. This is exactly why I have boundaries with her. She always tries to find ways around them. Yeah, she always prioritizes herself over us, and I got so tired of it. Well, maybe we should let her bring a plus one. We're already keeping it pretty simple. No alcohol, small reception, and early in the day. There isn't much room or time for her to spoil things. We both thought she would have minimal impact on graduation. That was less than two years ago. She could show up already drunk, or she and her boyfriend could get frisky during the ceremony. What if we have security nearby? I don't want security hovering around my mom. That would just give her another reason to complain. Some people might even side with her. It's only fair. Let her bring her boyfriend, and if they cause problems, we'll have them removed. It's my wedding day. The odds of her spoiling it are far too high. If she has someone to collude with, I can only imagine that the whole thing will be ruined. Mm, I guess I'll leave it up to you. But I can understand her position. It doesn't seem fair that she's the only person who wasn't given a choice of a plus one. I'll think about it. Thanks, and I love you. I love you too. Hi, Mom. You can bring your boyfriend. Thank you, honey. You'll love him just as much as I do. There are a few rules, though. I don't want to meet him. What? That's ridiculous. What if we end up getting married? You'll need to get to know him before that. Mom, you've had seven engagements in the last five years, and you've married twice. I do not want to meet any more men in your life. That's just unfair. 
He's not allowed to be in pictures, and you aren't to introduce him as having any relationship with me. Are you doing that for the significant others of everyone else? I'm letting Dina be in the pictures with Dad and my siblings, but no one else is going to be in the pictures. What about me? You're going to be in the pictures too, as long as you don't drink anything before the ceremony. What? You can't tell me that I can't drink. We didn't want any alcohol because we've had too many incidents over the last couple of years. Are you bringing that up again? I'm not going to keep apologizing for it. You aren't the only one who has caused problems. There are family members on both sides who are recovering, and several friends who are still a bit too heavy when it comes to drinking. I can't believe you're making rules for coming to your wedding. Most weddings have rules, Mom. Ours are made to help keep things calm. I can't believe you would call me disruptive. You and at least a dozen other people. You're in good company there. Oh, I feel so lucky. Seriously, I can't believe you. I gave birth to you, raised you, and this is how you repay me? I told you that you can bring your boyfriend. Yeah, but we aren't even allowed to do anything. You can come watch your daughter get married. That's what most people are coming to see. Ugh, that's so boring. You don't have to come then. You should at least have drinks at the reception. Mom, the invitation we sent out a long time ago said there will be no alcohol. Aiden and I both agree no alcohol. I can't believe you would do this to me. Again, you don't have to come. Of course you would say that. You don't want me there, do you? You're right. If you aren't willing to behave, I would prefer you not come. But if you are sober and behave, I would love to have you there. I want my mom in my pictures. I'll think about it. You'll think about what? Whether or not I'll come to the wedding. Really? You're saying you won't come because I... <sighs> Never mind. No, no, what were you going to say? Just let me know if you and your boyfriend will make it. I'll let you know when I make my decision. Okay. Is that all? Yes, I just wanted to let you know you can bring him. I'm sorry that it doesn't feel like enough for you. I meant you aren't going to try to get me to tell you if I'll be there. I'm not going to pressure you, Mom. I just ask that you let me know before the wedding. Ugh. Have a great day. I can't wait until tomorrow. I know, I'm so excited. Can't wait to see you standing at the end of the aisle looking dashing and eager. <laughs> I'm more excited about seeing you in your wedding gown. I can't believe you insisted on holding up that old tradition. Believe me, it's going to be a real surprise. How about I give you a hint for the cake? Then you can give me a hint about the dress. Mm, just a hint? Yeah, just a hint. Okay, you first. It's decadent. <laughs> what did you expect? Pretty much just that. Okay, so what's my hint? It's fancy. No! <laughs> Unlike you, I'll give you a real hint. Mostly because I don't want you to pass out when you see it. Really? It's not white. Wow, now that is shocking. Told you. Now I really can't wait. But you made it, so there are so many more options. Yup. You're torturing me. Now and for the rest of your life. That reminds me, did you ever hear back from your mother? Nice segue. You never did tell me if she would make it. I still haven't heard from her, so I'm assuming that she won't come. Wouldn't be the first time that she missed something big. Maybe you should just message her. I would rather not. I've still got plenty to do without dealing with that drama. Someone needs to find out. You could text her. After I said that your rules will stand, she blocked me. No surprise there. Can we talk about something more pleasant? I don't think that her showing up would be a great way to start the ceremony. Or have it be interrupted. I'll do some checking through other channels, but right now I just want to focus on us. You're the bride. And I couldn't be more excited. What would you do if I snuck into your room tonight? <laughs> Won't be there. What? It's the bachelorette party, remember? And I'm staying with one of my ladies for the night. Just because I know that you and I won't behave if you know where I am. Blast. Foiled by the bridal party. 
<laughs> I love you and I can't wait to stand next to you tomorrow and become your wife. I can't wait to become your husband. I love you too. Good night. Good night. Don and I decided to come to the wedding. Sadie? Sadie, are you ignoring me? Mom? Of course. You told me to notify you before the wedding. We're starting in an hour. I have so much to do. Well, we are coming, so you can feel happy. I've taken time out of my busy schedule to come see you. Thank you. That's fantastic. If you go to the venue, I'll see you there. I should be helping you get your dress ready and picking the flowers and everything else that mothers do for their daughter's wedding. Um, all of that is done. What about going to the spa? I was counting on that to prepare for the ceremony. I don't know that there are any that can take you since we're starting in an hour. Are you saying that I have to look frumpy and old for your wedding? Do you expect me to be in pictures like that? I just mean that there isn't time. If you want to go to the spa, stylist, or anything like that, you should have scheduled it. I wasn't sure I could make it. And I appreciate you coming, but there really isn't time to find that stuff now. What about letting me use your stylist? She's working on my hair right now. I don't think there will be time. You'll be glowing because of the wedding. Also, people expect you to look haggard. After all, you didn't let me help you with the planning. What are you talking about? You never asked. I shouldn't have to ask you to include me. You should want me to participate. I did ask you, and you said you didn't want to, remember? You asked me when I was going on my first vacation with Dawn. Of course I wasn't going to help. You could have told me you wanted to help when you returned. It was an open invitation. Well, you didn't specify. I did. Ugh, look, I don't have time for this. I need to finish getting ready. Stop being so selfish, Sadie. I need to look my best. People expect it from the mother of the bride. Don't ignore me. Ugh, sorry, Mom, I have to go. Fine, I'm coming to the venue. Let your stylist know to save time for me. Sadie, what is your mom doing? I don't know. Why do you ask? Because someone just told me that she was making a scene. What about security? I don't know. Hold on, I'll come see what I can do to calm things down. Jessica, where did Sadie go? I don't know. We're trying to find her, but I think she may have left. Why would she do that? That's not going to solve anything. Aiden, our mother dumped alcohol on her, then accidentally knocked her into the candles. I don't think that I would want to stay in a place if that happened to me either. But we can still get married. Did you not see how much of her dress got burned? She's lucky that only her hair got singed. But we've waited so long. What about everything else? It's too late to cancel. Is that really where your focus is right now? Not on the fact that Sadie was set on fire? I know that she was okay. And I think we can salvage this. Did you know that Mom was dating your younger brother? Yes, he told me. Did you tell Sadie? Of course not. Did you convince Sadie to let Mom bring your brother with her? I let her make the final decision. But you tried to convince her, didn't you? Well, yeah, it seemed fair that they should be able to be open about their relationship. And you thought your wedding was the right time to introduce this to Sadie? Well, when you say it like that, maybe it wasn't such a great idea. You're so dense, Aiden. I can't believe you helped ruin the wedding. I didn't. How was I supposed to know that your mother would do that? Sadie warned you, and you saw our mother trying to streak at your graduation. You guys really need to stop holding that over her head. She was drunk. She's always drunk. You know what? You want our mother in your life? You can have her. I'm going to find my sister and comfort her. Take me with you. We can still save this. <laughs> After I show Sadie our messages, I don't know that she's going to be so eager to keep going with this relationship. I just wanted our families to be close. There's a reason why our brothers won't have anything to do with mom. Maybe you should listen to Sadie when she says that something is a problem. 
I think you guys are blowing this out of proportion. Sadie was fine. We could get her another dress and put something over the singed hair. You know what? See if Mom will set you on fire. Then let's see if you're willing to go through with this. That's ridiculous. It wasn't intentional. Whatever you say, Aiden. I need to go help Sadie. You do whatever you want to do. I want to get married to my wife. That's not up to me. Sadie, are you ever going to answer me? Aiden, I don't think I can go through with the wedding today. My dress is ruined, my hair is burned, and my makeup is ruined. I don't care about any of that. We paid for the wedding and we need to go through with it. It's ruined! Stop being Bridezilla. I don't care how you look, I just want to marry you. Well, I do care. I told you that I didn't want my mom ruining the wedding, but you just kept pressuring me to let her bring her boy toy. Hey, don't call my brother that. What do you mean, your brother? Your mom is dating my brother. I think they're a cute couple. Are you kidding me? You knew? Of course I knew. Why do you think I really wanted you to let her bring him? But you said that you invited all of your family. Yeah, but I didn't think it was fair to make them hide their relationship. I mean, he's going to propose to her before we run down the aisle. What? I thought it was a really cute idea. Is that why you want to go through with the wedding? So that your brother has a chance to propose to my alcoholic mother? Well, yeah. Once we're both married, my parents are going to give us the trust funds that our grandparents set up for us. What are you talking about? What trust funds? Oh, don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on telling you about it, but now that you're trying to postpone the wedding, I feel I need to let you know. What do you mean you weren't going to tell me? It's my money, not yours. What's that supposed to mean? Well, for now, you're young and fun, but that's not going to last forever. I want to make sure I can get an upgrade later. What? <sighs> that's it! We're done! You can find some woman who doesn't mind wasting the best years of her life on you! You're just being over-emotional. Come back and we can talk about how we can quickly make you look presentable. If you really need a wife, steal mom from your brother. You deserve her. Gross, she's way too old for me. What about Jessica? She's cute, and we could have fun. Apparently, Don had been hitting on my mom ever since the graduation. She didn't take him seriously until he started hinting at a proposal as my wedding neared. He and Aiden hatched their plan, and they planned to use me and my mother to get money. I was furious at my mother. After the stunt she pulled, we had her committed to a facility where she can be monitored. Apparently, she's suffering from several ailments because of her alcohol use, including some type of dementia. None of us had noticed because we had all tried to put some distance between ourselves and her. We felt some guilt, but we also knew that it was the only choice. She had slept with my brother's friends and a couple of my boyfriends over the years. The way she treated us growing up made sure that we didn't want to be near her after we became adults. I feel a bit bad for her, but apparently mom doesn't really pay attention to the fact that we aren't really in her life. She's made up some story and is making unnecessary dramas within the facility. My dad is helping to cover the costs for her care, but I don't know that the rest of us will have much contact going forward. I dumped Aiden when I learned why he actually wanted to marry me. Apparently he really did like me and he thought that I was perfect for making his wife and popping out kids. Once he got bored of me, he would have found someone else. I wouldn't have gotten any of the money in a settlement either because of the way the trust was established. I was completely blindsided by this version of the man that I loved. He hid who he was so well. It's a shame that I sent our text messages to his parents. They weren't too pleased with him or his brother. Using a multifunctional clause that was in the trust funds, his parents made sure that neither boy got the money. After all, they were meant to marry and start families, not marry and waste the money. His parents gave most of the money to charity, but they also gave me roughly 250000 I think mostly to upset Aiden. Last I heard, Aiden got a job working for one of his friend's companies. Since he hadn't thought he would need to work for a living, he was on thin ice. When our mutual friend kept updating me, I finally said that I didn't want to know. I've wasted too much of my life worrying about Aiden. From now on, I have a bright future, 
and the money to set up my own business.